So I'm sure to do that. If you already walk around here. So unless you know where you're going, then any direction will take you there. And some of the differences we encounter, this view, this view, is because we don't have a defined common vision of where I want to be a vision. I have watched in Seneni in a container. You know, you can keep in Seneni in a container which is not covered and they will stay there. Why? And then Seneni which tries to go up, the others bite the legs and the, 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 the what? The wings. And they pull that in Seneni back. In the end, they will all be roasted and eaten. Because they had no common vision. Yet, if in Seneni determined, Let's let one of us go out. Let's, you know that they would empty that basket if they have a common vision. So one of the first things we need is a common, clear vision. A common, clear vision. And I think PDM has come as a big blessing for us. It has come as a big blessing for us. It can galvanize us. Uh, so we need to engage in strategic planning because that's where you define your vision. And uh, when people don't come together, I don't see how they can define a common vision. We needed to invest in that process of being together. And the strategic planning is when you envision that desired future, that desired future, define the objectives, define clear goals, and then we sequence our steps, we will get there. All the views that we have seen here, that we have discussed here, they may be good, but you cannot take all roads. You have to choose your road. And once we have harmonized, then we move together. In Whether your view has taken or not, once we have agreed, we move single file from that. Uh, it, for us, First of all, but for us to determine the strategic planning and have that shared goal, we no, the next slide. We need to have that vision clear. We need uh, an analysis, and we have started. We've collected a lot of information. Uh, when for me, I was given this. When the moment, uh, by the way, I had planned this at the time of the launch. That's where, for me, I was like, if I can take leadership and have the audience of people, even if it is for a short time, I'm not greedy for leadership, but I know that I have some organizational skills, and I have a good intention. I had planned at that time, except at that time we had taken only not two kids. And when I have a proposal, I was just happy about it. <laughs> I have listened to you, and as I say, sir, yes, you are right. Now we have our single file booked together. Now we have booked together. So, um, I, for me, we need to come together as these people and we can lead our people and we can bypass even regions which have gone ahead of us. I really believe in that. Uh, next. So, I want to share with you very quick facts because they are all mostly in practice. Uh, Phuket, okay, we have the largest house among the largest household sizes. We have uh, it is here. It is here. This dark area is where we have people with the largest people, the largest number of people in households. These are the ones that have uh, 5.1 to 5.9. So they are the most densely. So in this area here. So we book it, it has 5.5, uh, Tesla has 5.9. So we, we are the second largest, the second most dense, where people have a lot of dependence. And that impacts on our development and how we structure our development. Land fragmentation is going to accelerate because most of the people in those homes are young boys, young kids. You know? Move well, next. The next is we have very low secondary school enrollment. We have a bit of high enrollment for primary, but they drop out. We have very low. Actually, we are among the lowest here. Bukhe has 24.9. Of 
of the children who are supposed to be in secondary school, only 24.9 out of every 100 are in secondary school, meaning the rest drop out. They have not completed primary or they just completed this again. So the literacy rate, go to the next one. Our literacy rate, the literacy rate in the book, when they did the demo, demographic survey uh, from 20, uh, 2016, sorry, this should be 2017, uh, it was 63.5. So out of every 100 adults you find, only 63 were able to read and write. Now, when you come to the most recent, it has dropped to 59.6. What, what does that show? It has dropped actually. The most recent. The, the results came out in 2020, 2021, when the report came out. It, has, it is dropping. Because of the other one, the high dropout in primary school and low enrollment for secondary school. So as we're planning development, we are looking at this. Next, uh, disease. They just chose this two. Malaria. Malaria is. Uh, we are not only blind, but enough as lung, <laughs> as lung and tissue, but we are among the high malaria incidence. Now malaria affects production. And it consumes the money. Most of this PDM money is likely to go into treating malaria. With all these interventions that we have, if when if you come and bring PDM and people are sick from malaria all the time, development is not going to happen. Then we have a lot of uh, respiratory diseases. The average for the country. The big, it's one of the biggest killers, apart from malaria, the second biggest killer is people die of uh, infections of the chest. And we have 9.3, you may not be able to see, above the national rate, meaning housing conditions are not favorable for the people. Because that's when they subject their breathing to stress, to cold stress, and there's a lot of smoke. People are cooking in the same places, they are sleeping. So the respiratory infections are impacting, they will impact on our productivity. Next. Uh, then we have this other challenge of rising in uncommunicable diseases. The example is high blood pressure. Hypertension, we are among the highest in the country. The rest or of uh, people have one percent Karamoja, but Bukedi, Busoga, and Elgon, we are leading in the country in terms of people with high blood pressure. We are all candidates here, and we contributing to the statistics. So what um, the last uh, the last one of this? I'm not sure whether it's the last one. Now this comes to the direct subject. No, this is substance abuse. Now, this is where we are doing well. And we must handle the youth. Now, if you went to these parks meetings, you notice the younger people are not there. The youth are not there. If we miss the youth, they will start going to substance abuse. This is a very positive thing about Bukhet, is the lowest in the country in substance abuse. We are, we are not. Now, when we come to poverty, this is poverty. Now, this is a miracle which seems to have happened, and we all keep asking which miracle happened. In 2016 2017, Bukedi poverty rate was 44.7% around there. In the most recent, they say we have 34.7%. It's cooked, okay. <laughs> what miracle happened? Okay. Okay. Very cool to that. So, because now we are number three. We are not doing very well. We are number three. We were number two. Next is Karamoja. Now, the report says uh, actually, regionally,
spiritual has uh, yeah. and uh, yeah, so we are man, but anyway, we are still there. We are supposed to be number three. I don't know which miracle happened because for me, when I go to the ground, things are really not very good. Now, who contribution to the Subsistence, yes. Subsistence. Because PDM, we keep confusing. PDM is addressing subsistence. And subsistence is related to, but not the same as poverty. Uh, so here, we were contributing 90.6% of the food. Now, we are contributing 0.4% of the food. I'm going to give you a simple slide. This will give you information for you uh, as we discuss, especially members of parliament. In the parliament. You know, when I, I was made a major I fear the parliament. Because I just did not understand how they speak. But now I'm beginning to love it. <laughs> so, because when you have this, move to the next one. Move to the next one. Data that we are using, and we need to have these figures at the top of our minds for purposes of lobbying and discussion in the different forums. Now, uh, proportion of households in subsistence. Who okay, did in the 2016 2017 we had 71.2 percent of the households were in subsistence? In the previous, in the current. They say we have 58.3 households in subsistence. So the 39% is not ours. Ours is 58.3. It may not be accurate, but it's a good working figure. So more than half of the households in the community are poor. So you can estimate it to 60%. Because even within the Bukedi region, you'll find that they vary. you still find somewhere 80 or 90 percent. They will be in subsistence. So we needed to make sure that we have the data because we have struggled 39 percent. And the people look at you like, which, which government are you talking about? We did, we did it survey in Kabeleke. Everybody is in subsistence. When you exclude me, everybody is in subsistence. And they are wondering where are the other 51 percent are who are not in subsistence. Everybody is in subsistence. So our working figure for Bukit is 58.3 percent. And for me, as an executive and the MPs, we now need to figure out what to do with that figure. Because if a community has 70 percent people who are subsistent and subsistent. When you give 17 million, then you are going to cover a large number of those in subsistence. But if you have 50 now how are you going to choose where to start? Oh. Next. Next slide. Um, Go to the next slide and we we'll get to the table. Okay, there are some figures in here, but we... now these are the populations in the, the 2021 2021 statistical abstract of Lubos. These are the populations. I don't know whether these are accurate now, cows. Yeah, whichever was complaining that they have they have allocated less population than they actually have. But this is the one we have from the Ubo statistical abstract, the latest one. Now, if we use this, this is the population, the total population of the Bukit. <coughs> so, if the national population is estimated according to this abstract at 42.9 million, mm -hmm. then Bukit contributes 5.43% of the population. Mm -hmm. But we are contributing 10% of the population. Yes, we are only 5.43 percent 
but we are contributing 10 percent of the poor people in the nation. Meaning the density of poverty here is very high. So we are diluting the national poverty statistics. We are pulling down the country. So if we do not do something, then we are going to, to have challenges. Now that is the status. For me, I look at problems only enough to understand what I need to do. Because I don't believe that there are problems too big for us not to handle. This data is just to annoy you, <laughs> so that you have righteous anger. <laughs> it's not to annoy you so that you realize, as I've been saying in the places where I've been saying we are presiding over poverty. We are not so poverty. Uh, the word minister means to serve. The minister is a server. So that means I am serving poverty to the people. Yeah, and in my leadership, I am serving what? Uh, have something here. It is poverty. Have something here. It is poverty. That's what we are serving to our population. So we need to change this now. So what? When you look at the region, let's move to the next one, skip most of this, skip most of that, skip, 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 skip most of that. Uh, yeah, now I want to come to this, go back to this. When I look at the bucket, when you look at the bucket, one, what are the strengths? Most of our people have a respected clan system. Of leadership. We've not done very well with the other traditional levels of leadership. Which community is settled? With the mind the Varakita, they are always fighting about it. Yep, yep. No. Yep, sir, settled? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, you have? Uh, uh, you have? Uh, uh, you <laughs> yes. But at least we have some, some system of leadership. But we have not seen it as a tourist, as an economic country. And these are some things I think we need to bring and infuse into PDA. They will bring our communities together. Because once you start playing with that, everybody will just dance and and the differences will do what? In men. Then we have a large population of young people. They could be a disadvantage, can also be a great disadvantage. Uh, we have a number of people in the diaspora. Unfortunately, we are very poor at bringing together the diaspora. Recently, I saw the Bama Sava. They collected all the Bama Sava in certain positions, including ministers, that and they flew to meet Ibama Sava in the Asia to plan investment. What about the bucket? Okay, let's first gather ourselves here. <laughs> so we needed to, we have not harnessed them. Uh, we have water. I think Bukit is one of the most uh, really gifted area with water. We have water trout. Most of our people can access water. They can access fresh water. And also water. We don't we know we don't have a lot of committed industries. Now that could be seen as a disadvantage, it's also an advantage. We have a chance now to plan. You'll find places where there are food stamp factories, people are complaining, they are polluting the small water, but now we can plan. Uh, we have a climate, a conducive climate for agriculture, although that's changing a bit. Uh, we have most of Bukit is flat. Most of we don't have huge mountains that block us to move. And then uh, existence of many local education entrepreneurs. We have a lot of investors in education. I don't know which, what other industries here, but we have a lot of local people who have. Most of who, the only members do have some schools somewhere. And those can be used for improving our education statistics. When we have these border towns and we look at them strategically, <coughs> they can take us. And we need to think about this as we are working on PDM. You say, why is she talking about this when we are in PDM? 
Because BDM is not going to be in a virtual. Uh, then we, this uh, proximity to Mount Elbo National Park, we want to benchmark from them our tourism. Access to major highways. We, are, we have the gateway. We have actually the gateways into this country. Why are we poor? Really, why are we poor? Most, not just to us, in, to the interior of Uganda, it, they enter through Bukit, isn't it? Yeah. A big chunk, a big, really, it enters through Bukit. But have we thought how to manage? Uh, the other day, somebody was saying you have a problem with the trucks. That's an opportunity. That's a big opportunity that the trucks are parking in the Bukit. But what are we doing with it? Are we harnessing it? So, no, these trucks are going not only into Uganda, they are going into Sudan, they are going into Uganda, they are going into DRC. We, but the issue is, what are they carrying from Bukit? Yeah. What are they picking from Bukit? Cement. Yeah. Cement. Cement. <laughs> Some cement, at least. For any investment. For then we, we don't have banking penetrating the economy. The two small towns. Uh, now you will say, why is she doing it? Why is she saying that is, that is an advantage? PDM. Let's take one this small district. How many patches do you have? We need it to sit here. And think about the cooperative banks arising from I'm not going into the details, but when we sit, we need to sit serious and think about the cooperative banks. 74, whichever 61. Hmm. Well, each is getting 100 million. <laughs> Tororo, Tororo has a million, two hundred. You guys, you ask me that if you do not develop a bank out of this, posterity, posterity is going to be